Again. Today we're coming back out here on the range. We, I just finished fixing it up. It's been a it's been a hard week this last week, so I've been doing a lot of stuff. So I haven't been able to get out here and make a video. But we're gonna be doing a video. This is Fourth of July, and um, you know we're gonna be doing a little bit of stuff with the Beeman Commander here. I'm really excited to get out back out here. I haven't been doing it in a long time, so as, as you can see there, we've got it filled up to about 3,000 psi, and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're going to be doing a lot, of, a bunch of stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of planking, and then we're going to do a lot of accuracy tests. But then we're going to do just a top to bottom fill. So we're going to see how many shots will we get from 3,000 to 1,000 psi. Um, so that's basically your range of good. Things that, as you can see, it says green from 3,000 there to 1,000 there. So that's I'm just gonna test those things out. It says about 80 shots per fill. I don't know what fill means. I guess 3,000 maybe down to zero, but maybe we can get 80 shots from 3,000 to 1,000. We'll see. Please just stay tuned. We'll we'll give you a lot of good information and good stuff that'll help you be uh that'll hopefully help you guys um, appreciate the outdoors and air guns better. So we're gonna be doing. Probably be doing a little bit of hunting too with the gun. Uh, if you want to see my last video, it wasn't the best video I've made, but if you want to see that last video, you can click up here or here, some, somewhere up there. I don't know exactly what it's going to turn out, but see, that's just how we're going to do it. So the first thing we'll do here with the gun, um, we're, we're going to do a we're going to do a a fill test while we're shooting the gun itself. We've got a few targets. We're going to start off with ten shots. At 20 yards, uh, that was 20 yards right over there, and then 10 more shots right over there at 30 yards. There's two targets there, two targets there. And the, if you can see, there's one uh, target right all the way over there at 50 yards, and we'll, we'll go. We'll tell you about that a little bit more later. But we're gonna sh shoot at the fi the 20 yard target first, so you'll just see that real quick. Okay, so we just took 10 shots. I'm going to show you the uh, the fill rate on the gun right here. Let's see. So the pressure is right there. It's really hard to see for some reason with this gauge. It's just a glint or something on the sun, but I think you can see that there. Yeah, there we go. I focused it a little bit. Uh, the dial barely moved at all. Okay, so we're gonna take ten more shots. We're gonna do it a few, a few more targets, and then we'll we'll catch you back in a few moments here. Yeah, so there we go. That's the pressure after twenty shots. So guys, if you can see that and see how far off we are from the from the one thousand mark there, you can see that we got a lot more shots to go. So guys, we might even break a hundred shots, easy, because that right there looks really good. So. We're gonna go sit you down and we're gonna take another um, 10 more shots and we'll catch you now. Okay guys, I just finished shot number 30. So I, um, I, I reckon I took a little few, few more shots than I should have, but 
it's just so addicting. This, you know, this gun is just really fun to shoot it and do stuff like that with it. Um, and we're just gonna show you the air, and then we'll go out there and go check the targets out. So, see ya. So, there is the, uh, right there, as you can see, is the gauge, and then it's about at 2,005 to 600, more like 2,500. So, we have got, we've got about 1,500 PSI left. Go check out those targets, and we'll catch you there. Guys, okay, so I didn't tell you what I was doing with these, both of these two targets here. I've got two different pellets on two different targets here. It's the Crossman Premier domed pellet, so they're 14.3 grain. So that's the kind of the standard size pellet. And then the the next pellet, the next one I'm going to show you is a Ruger Super Point, and it's about 17 grain or something like that. Um, and that one, it's a heavier pellet, and I'll, we'll just show you the groups, and you you can tell for yourself which one you think is better. By the way, guys, both these pellets that you can find at Walmart. And I just like to show people, you know, Walmart pellets because that's what most people are going to get getting. Um, it is it's, it is definitely worth it to upgrade to bigger pellets. But well, enough talk. Let's just show you. So, guys, here we are. Um, this is a ten shot group. I'm pretty sure it's ten. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's a ten shot group right there of the Crossman Premier Dome pellets. That is absolutely terrible. This is thirty yards, so that's that's horrible. I mean. Any of those shots would be inside of a rabbit's body, but, you know, you could get his leg there, you could get his neck there, you know, you don't know what you're going to hit. So that's just not an awesome group. But on the flip side of that coin, ten more shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Eight, yeah, eight. Uh, and there should be some more shots somewhere around there. Who knows, maybe one or two went through the same hole or something. But you can see the group. The size of that group, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven shots, no, eight shots, never mind. Eight shots in there. This whole group here is eight shots. And, and, um, let's see. That's, seven of those shots can fit under my thumb. So guys, that's obviously way better than this group here. Where, let's see, the at the best, you can get three shots under my thumb. Unless, you know, it's it's really not going to work other there so this all would hit a rabbit's head it would bust a rabbit's head it's not the best group i'm going to uh move this up here but you can honestly see that that is that is better way better than this one here guys the other side to a bigger pellet or a heavier pellet it might go a little slower but it's going to have a lot more impact and it might not seem like a lot but right here guys look at that it literally just busted through here's one of those pellets <laughs> look at it it's still almost intact all the way it just went straight through the hay there. That's actually weird, but it, see, look, it busted through there. At 30 yards, it went straight through this three quarters of an inch, easily three quarters of an inch piece of plywood. So, guys, you can see how that is. It's no problem at all for this beam and commander to bust through that. Uh, you can see here. Yeah, it, it sure went through. It just didn't. You know, it didn't have that same oomph like this gun had like this these pellets did so you can see if you're going to be hunting the bigger the heav heavier grain is going to work a lot better for you so that's that's the target practice for today i'll go i'm going to get it sighted in all the way to the right here on um, off the camera because that, that can sometimes take a while then we're going to move to plinking kind of stuff so we've got some of these targets here and here and then we got that target there and then we got a little target right there let's see there if i can focus a little better yeah right there and there my camera is kind of acting funky today but it's, it's working and then we got this little plinking target here and this is like 25 yards over there that's a 20 yard target it's a 10 yard post I haven't put anything there yet but I just wanted to mark the, the area for the 10 yard and that's more like handgun stuff so we'll go get it all sighted in and then we'll we'll move to the next thing which will be plinking Okay guys, so we're gonna see, this camera is not the best here, but uh, we'll see if it'll work. So I don't know, it's right over there, there's that little plinking target. I'm gonna aim for the top of it, and we'll see if we can bust it uh, at all. Oh, I just hit it. First time hit it.
Wow. Sorry guys, my camera just fell down, but that is so crazy. I need to go show you this right now. This is crazy. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, but look at it. It's a 20 yard target, it's not, you know, not the farthest range, but it's, it's a range. And it's a great range for hunting. That's what we got. <laughs> Whoa, can you tell, can you just see that? Look, we've got one, two, three, and I hit this one like a lot, a bunch of times. Look at that. And look at that lead splat. It just put it down. Guys, there is no mistaking the accuracy on the beam commander. Those are all the size of a ground squirrel's body. Easily the size of a, of a, you know, prairie dog's head or something like that. Guys, those are tiny. And I just busted them with the beam commander. You can just see how accurate it, the gun is. You know, it's... You know, it's it's got some really good pinpoint accuracy, so I'm not hired or not asked by anybody to say this. Of course, I'm such a small channel as I am, but you can just see right there that, that there's no shortage in accuracy and in power with the Beeman Commander. Uh, I sure hope that was actually on camera. I'm not sure, but I'm going to... I have a target at 50 yards. It's really far away, and I'm not really sure I want to set my camera out. I've only got one camera that I'm using right now. So I'm not sure I want to bring that camera out there. I'll, I'll put it out there just to make, just in case, but uh, I'll just put it right here on this. But I'm not going to go out there and set it up, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it's a it's a horse. It's a horse head. It's at 50 yards. It's, it's a really far target, so who knows? I might hit it. I might not. But then there's another target, and we made it. I'll go show you those. If you want to see um, me setting up the shooting range, it's, it's right up there, too, somewhere up there. I don't know. But yeah, I'll just show you. I'll just show you that and we'll get back on with the video. Okay guys, so we have finally done it. We've done 60 shots right here. I'm not sure if how that good is coming on the camera. I think it's pretty focused as I can tell. Um, and it's about, it's about 1,300 PSI right now. So we took 60 shots. And we're going to take as many more shots as we can until we get to the 1,000 mark. Is where I, I just tend to stop just because uh, I don't want it to be too hard for me to repub up the gun. And 1,000 is the end of the green, so end of, end of the kind of reasonable shot period. So it's been a really cool. Uh, I love this P PCP Beeman Commander, you know. And if we get 50 likes on this video, guys, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna see if we can go. We're gonna have this gun here, the Beeman Commander, and we're gonna go against Umarex Gauntlet. So I think it's gonna be a pretty epic video if we can get if we can get 50 likes on this video. So. If you really want to see that, please like and hit the subscribe button. It can always help us do more more content in it, you know. I'll always be doing what I love out here, and I'll always, I'll hopefully be taking videos of it just to show you guys. But it's really good to know that there's people that are supportive of these things, you know, hunting and trapping and shooting and fishing and whatever, anything else that we do out here in the outdoors. So, guys, we wanted, we ended up getting about mm, 75 shots for that fill from 3,000 to 1,000 PSI, so it was pretty good. I, I really am impressed with the gun so far. It's the quality of it is it's just awesome, and what it what it produces is really good. It it has actual power. It has really you know it gets some oomph as I showed you with that a uh, three quarters of an inch piece of plywood there. It busted through it and with a lot more energy to boot as well. So there's no shortage of energy there. There's no shortage of accuracy there. And there's no shortage of shots right there. So the gun it really itself is a great replacement. If you don't want to be paying a lot of money for 22 caliber, you know, bullets, and you want to be hunting small game rabbits and stuff like that, well, the Beeman Commander, go pick one up today. They are a good price for their pellets. You can buy pellets really cheap, you know, as, you, as opposed to maybe a 22 caliber bullets. You can buy 50 cal 22 caliber bullets for the same price of 500 22 caliber pellets. And if you're going rabbit hunting and all the kind of stuff like that, or you're just going plinking, it'll do the job fine. It'll more than make up for the slot, and it will definitely do a lot better for you, um, for your pocketbook and stuff. So, I hope you all got uh, having a good 4th of July. 
Uh, if you're not watching it on 4th of July, well, I hope you had a good 4th of July. Hopefully you remember what 4th of July is about. Um, and we'll see you on the next one.